start any new brush, we'll always start with the square canvas. There is a default option for this, so just tap the plus symbol and select square. For this one, we're going to start by using the monoline brush, which you'll find in the calligraphy section. You're going to select the color black and bring the size all the way up to max. Next, you're going to draw a circle in the top right corner. To make it a perfect circle, draw and hold and then tap the screen with one finger. Then drag the black color into the circle to fill it in. Next, you're going to duplicate this layer by swiping left on it and clicking duplicate. Select the cursor, make sure that uniform is selected and that snapping and magnetics are turned on. Drag the circle all the way down to the bottom left hand corner. The further away the circles are, the bigger your shadow will be and the closer they are, the smaller the shadows will be. Next, select a medium grey shade by bringing the black about halfway around the colour wheel to the left. Then fill in the second circle. Now tap on your layers and select the plus to create a new layer. Hold down on it and drag it so it's at the bottom of the three layers. Draw a line from the middle edge of one circle to the middle edge of the other. You can drag the edges of the line by using the edit line option. You want to make sure it's not sticking out from the sides. Then duplicate this layer, tap the cursor and drag the second line to the other side. If you need to, you can use the eraser to get rid of any parts that are sticking out. Next, you're going to merge the layers by swiping together from top and bottom. Then fill in the gap with grey. Now that you've made the base shape, tap the layer and select invert. Then tap it again and select copy. Open the brushes, stay in the calligraphy section and find the brush pen. Swipe left and duplicate it. Select the new brush and click shape. Then beside shape source, tap edit, import and then paste. Then click done and that's all there is to it. Now let's have a look at if we had a smaller shadow by putting the circles closer together. I'm just tapping with two fingers to undo until I get back to having my duplicated circle. Instead of dragging it all the way to the corner, I'm just bringing it a small distance. If you're doing this, don't forget to reselect the monoline brush. Then just follow the steps as before and when the shape is finished, move it into the center of the canvas. Invert and copy again, and then duplicate the brush pen and follow the same steps by selecting Shape, Edit, Import, and Paste. Now when you compare your two new brushes, you'll see the size difference with the shadows. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more.